longing for heaven. In Psalm 84 verse 2 says, My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth, for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. When God's people take their eyes off the things of this world and place them on heaven and heavenly things, they will see a peculiar people because they will see the mercy and goodness and compassion that God has shown to the children of men. His love will call forth a response from them and their lives will show to those around them that the Spirit of God is controlling them, that they are setting their affections on things above, not on the things of the earth. Thinking of heaven, we may put our imagination to the utmost stretch and think the loftiest thoughts that we are capable of thinking, and our mind will grow weary in the effort to comprehend the breadth and depth and height of the subject. It is impossible for our minds to take in the great themes of eternity. It is impossible for us even to make an effort to understand these things without the effort affecting our whole character for good and having an uplifting influence on our minds. As we think of how Christ came to our world to die for fallen man, we understand something of the price that was paid for our redemption. And we realize that there is no true goodness and greatness apart from God. Only by the light shining from the cross of Calvary can we know to what depths of sin and degradation the human race has fallen through sin. Only by the length of the chain let down from heaven to draw us up can we know the depths to which we had sunk and it is only by keeping the unseen realities in view that we can understand anything of the wonderful thing of redemption. We are almost home. We shall soon hear the voice of the Savior richer than any music saying, Your warfare is accomplished. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Blessed, blessed benediction, I want to hear it from his immortal lips. I want to praise him. I want to honor him that sitteth on the throne. I want my voice and to echo and to re-echo through the courts of heaven. Will you be there? God help us and fill us with all fullness and power, and then we can taste of the joys of the world to come. Let us pray. Father in heaven, yes, we are longing for our eternal home with you in heaven. I'm hoping and praying for those who are watching on YouTube and Three Angels Tube. And we're praying for those uh, people who have fallen. And we're asking you to give their hearts and souls to you and to surrender. And we're praying for them that they need salvation, redemption, healing, and forgiveness with your love and mercy. And I'm hoping and praying if they could find Jesus in them and have Bible studies so they can hear and to grow more spiritually fed. And we're praying for them if they can make a total surrender and to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and to worship you in spirit and in truth and understand about the Sabbath, which is the seventh day, the true day of rest, and to honor you and to serve you all the days of our and their lives, both now and forever, when our Lord Jesus will come very soon and will be leaving the sin sick world behind and to live with you forever and ever in a new world, free from sin, and Satan, our arch enemy, will not attempt or manipulate us ever again. It's all Satan's fault. Jesus will win our victory because we believe in him. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.
God bless you.